The Trump administration in the United States is reportedly deliberating upon a draft presidential promulgation whereby members of the Chinese Communist Party and their family would be barred from entering the country. If brought into effect, the draft order would pretty much be a sweeping ban by President Trump against close to 92 million CCP members from entering the United States. The New York Times, reporting on the same, opined that the move will almost instantly invite retaliation by China. It is not known in what manner China would retaliate to such a radical ban, but banning all US citizens would be the only proportionate measure for the paper dragon, even though not feasible. The draft under deliberation at the White House, if turned into a reality, would effectively ring the death knell for US-China relations, which are in any case witnessing a downward spiral since 2018, which many are referring to as a trade war between the two countries. The same proclamation could also authorize the United States government to revoke visas of party members and their families who are already in the country, leading to their expulsion. Meanwhile, discussions are also on to simultaneously place a ban on members of the Chinese People's Liberation Army and also those associated with state-owned enterprises. This move could very well mark the beginning of US sanctions on China. US Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, when questioned about the same, said that the Trump administration was looking at pushing back the Chinese Communist Party. He added, we want to make sure we do it in a way that reflects America's tradition and there are lots of ideas that are under review by the president and our team. Similarly, the White House press secretary said of Trump at a briefing he has not ruled out any action with regard to China. China, reacting to the potentially radical steps which are being discussed at the White House against the CCP, said, we hope the US will refrain from doing more things that disdain the basic norms governing international relations and undermine its reputation, credibility and status as a major country. Further, the Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson called the proposed ban idea very pathetic for the world's strongest power. It must be remembered that members of the CCP, like communists all around the world, pretend to be averse to money-making in their own country in order to fool the people, while also having large-scale interests abroad. Same is the case with members of the CCP, many of whom visit countries like the US regularly and whose family members have either settled or are aiming to settle in the States. Such a move would have far-reaching consequences for China's high and mighty state-owned entrepreneurs who are also members of the CCP. Alibaba founder Jack Ma, Dalian Wanda Group founder Wang Xianlin and BYD founder Wang Xuanfu are all members of the CCP. CNN has reported that of the 8,000 entrepreneurs who responded to a government survey published last year, more than half said they were members of the Chinese Communist Party. A quarter of the total respondents were members of the National People's Congress, which is China's rubber stamp legislature, while roughly a third were members of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference. One can only imagine the trouble which is hovering around for such Chinese nationals if the alleged draft order is signed by President Trump and is then stringently imposed. Interestingly, much of Chinese citizenry seemed elated with the news of CCP officials being barred from entering the US, while some remarked that the said move will make flamboyant officials stay back in China as they rightfully should like patriotic citizens. Some were even of the opinion that the said move will help reduce corruption among the CCP ranks. A Chinese user while reacting to the news said, Chinese people who have money to invest in the United States are usually party members. Entrepreneurs such as Ma Yun and Ma Wateng have already joined the party. According to the New York Times report, the proposed presidential order would cite the same statute in the Immigration and Nationality Act used in a 2017 travel ban on a number of Muslim countries that gives the president power to temporarily block travel to the US by foreign nationals who are deemed detrimental to the interests of the US. It remains to be seen how such a large-scale ban on over 90 million CCP members will be brought into effect by the Trump administration. The technicalities aside, the move is sure to infuriate China, which cannot possibly ban all US citizens in its attempt to deliver a proportionate response. Moreover, the draft under consideration at the White House 
which is now a subject of public knowledge, stands as a testimony to the Trump-led United States' determination of teaching China a lesson which it never forgets for all of its recent misadventures.